Hi, and welcome to our brand new YouTube channel. My name's Karen Hancocks from Takana.co.uk, and over the next coming months, with the help of our pro staff, we'll be bringing you a variety of fishing videos. Hopefully we'll get on a beach and catch a few fish, show you what we're targeting, um, and explain what we're doing and why we do it. But today, unfortunately, Storm Cara put paid to my visit to the beach and uh, it looks like Dennis is on its way. So we've brought the beach indoors. The big question I always get asked is, is colour important? <laughs> Absolutely. You speak to any fly tyres, any lure fishermen who both fish without the use of a fresh bait as we do, and they will answer the same. They will both say, yes, colour is important. You look at the fish in the breeding season and the males will display vibrant colours. Scientifically, it has been proven that these fish are actually excited and become aggressive at the sight of these colours. So colour can be used to your advantage. So never just sit there and think they're coloured to look pretty. There's a reason behind it all. Um, now, we all know that uh, colour is seen differently from a fish's point of view than it is, is ours. It's seen differently above water than it is below. I won't bore you, there are an awful lot of, of videos out there on YouTube explaining what colours disappear and how. I mean, reds, we all know, three metres, red will start to turn to grey. Ten metres, you lose your oranges and your yellows. An awful lot also depends on clarity of water, what debris floating around, um, how much tidal pull is actually pulling the sand off the beach and throwing up shingle. All sorts of things come into it. But you can use colour to your advantage and you can use it to draw the fish to your rig. Now, the interesting one, the loomy lead. People often say to me, is that not like throwing a Belisha beacon into the sea? Um, does, does the bright light not fr uh, frighten the fish away? It actually has the exact opposite effect. The luminescent light given off by these leads, be it in the dark or just deep water, will attract plankton. And while the plankton are there, the bait fish will come along and feed. So you're drawing the bait fish to the lead and in turn, you've got it. The bigger fish, the ones that we're after, are drawn to the bait fish. So a loomy lead will draw fish to your bait. Never dismiss a loomy lead in dark conditions or deep water because they really do work. Right, so colours, practice with them. Very often one colour will work very well one day and the following day, it just doesn't go. It just doesn't work, sorry. But uh, practice and change colours and experiment, that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, if we can pull the fish to our rigs, they do a job. Now shapes, okay, so we've all been the lover of the tried and tested, especially on our coastal waters, of the grip lead. Um, we don't do grip leads because they've been done and apart from your splashdowns and various different sort of gadgets on them, a grip lead is a grip lead and it'll do exactly that. It'll land in the sand and you'll pull it up and it will anchor in wet sand. Okay, so grip leads done and dusted. Now, pyramids. I very often use a pyramid in place of the grip leads. Now the pyramid leads will work very, very well. Um, they will grip very well, but also when you're retrieving, instead of having your awful wires to break out and bumping along the surface, your pyramid will actually anchor up, it will pull out and it will lift and it will retrieve far easier than a grip lead. It will also um, enable you to be able to move your lead without breaking out the grippers because once they're broken out, you're reeling in. The lead is useless. If you don't reel in, that lead will just turn around on the seabed and it, it, it's just not gonna work. However, with the pyramid, you can actually cast out the, the, the water's up round, brings it over the lead, it's nice and anchored, and everybody's catching 20 yards in. You can lift, 
a pyramid, bring it in, or just simply move the bait to attract the fish, it will resettle and it will anchor. So a very, very useful lead in your armoury. That's the pyramid. The arrowhead, very, very similar, casts nice. It, it's quite aerodynamic. Again, it will have the same effect as the pyramid lead will. It will anchor up, but it will enable you to move your bait and anchor back up again. Two very, very good leads. One of my favourites, the bucket lead. Now with the bucket lead, you cast out and you've got a flat back here and the flat back will actually anchor up. But before you do that, the bucket lead was actually designed to find gullies. So you're casting this out and it will drop and find the deep gullies. Let it settle, cast it out, leave it, let it settle, tighten up when it stops to move because that's when you're in the depth of the gully and that's where you want to be. The flat back on the lead will actually aid grip and they do grip very, very well. A lot of people that have eventually tried them have said, I didn't realise that they would actually hold as well as a grip lead, but they do. Um, Americanos, lovely aerodynamic shaped lead. You've got a flat back there, so you've got a certain amount of grip. Um, and again, because of the shape of the lead, you can lift that lead out of the sand. It will come up quite easily, but it will resettle. So you can replace your bait and move your bait. Um, you've got winged leads. Now the winged leads, lovely aerodynamic shape, cast very well. They'll go a distance. And once down in the sand, if you want to move your lead and you'll move and flick them over, they will actually flick and fluff the sand up. And this will attract an awful lot of fish, especially your flounder and your place and your dabs. All your, your fish that are sat on the bottom will be attracted by sand fluffing up. Very good lead for flatfish fishing. Now, in the calmer waters, and you're lucky enough the where, where it's pretty still, maybe in the summer, not so much the winter, or very close in work, the rolling leads. These little spinning leads are um, very, very useful. As long as you're not fishing too close, two people in a competition, you can let that roll away and move your bait around and seek the fish out. So the rolling leads, one of my favourites when I can use them, because it will make the most of the area in front of you. So there you have it, that's a few of the leads, not all of them. Another interesting one we've just actually brought out for veals is the place lead. And it mimics the colour of the pea mussels. Um, relatively new, but seems to be working really, really well. And I have noticed that, that people have actually started to do other stuff. I mean, for years, uh, place fishermen have used green and black beads and they work and they work and they work and they work for a reason because the, the green and black is natural to what the fish are seeking out, which is the pea mussel. Um, I've seen now that people are bringing pop-ups out in the same colour. There's got to be something in it, otherwise people wouldn't be bringing them out and using them. They work. Look for those at Veals, we haven't got them here. Um, I think actually that's probably about me done today. So thank you for watching and if you like the video, please hit like and hit subscribe because that helps. Leave us a comment, that's even better. That brings our ratings up Google and see if we can lift them up there. But thanks very much for listening and we'll see you soon. Okay, thanks, bye.